Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about properties of the exponential distribution. The exponential distribution is written above. It only applies for x greater than 0 and beta greater than 0. Um, that parameter beta, it describes the exponential distribution in that it represents the mean and it's a number that needs to be given. So somewhere the parameter beta or the mean needs to be given in the problem. Now beta being the mean is the expected value or the derivative of the moment generating function evaluated at zero. So let's calculate the moment generating function. By definition, the moment generating function is the expected value of e to the tx. And that means we integrate from minus infinity to infinity of e to the tx times the density f of x. Now, you might be saying, whoa, this is an improper integral from minus infinity to infinity. But remember, a density function only applies for x greater than 0. Otherwise, the density is 0. Hence, we integrate from 0 to infinity. Okay. Now, the density function has been substituted for f of x. And now, we need to deal with the improper integration. So we'll have this limit as b goes to infinity of this integral from 0 to b. And I'll combine the exponential functions. So they each have an exponent, one of t to the x, the other one minus x over beta. Now, they add. And they each have a factor of x. So let's factor that x out. This will be x times t minus 1 over beta. Now, we'll put the dx here. And the division by beta we'll put in front of the integral because it's a constant. OK. We've dealt with all the necessary things. We are now ready to integrate this. Now, we will integrate this using a u substitution. And in doing so, we'll get the antiderivative e to the x is x itself. Uh, then we'll divide by the coefficient of x. Okay. Uh, then we'll evaluate at 0 and b. Okay. Now we'll plug in the limits of integration, the first one being a limit that we have to evaluate. So this b is a large positive number going to infinity times t minus 1 over beta. Then we divide by t minus 1 over beta. Uh, then lastly, we're going to subtract by when we plug in 0 for x. So this will be e to the 0 divided by t minus beta times by 1 over beta. Now, for the convergence of this integral, we require that the numerator here that this be negative. The limit is going to infinity, which means that the only thing that can be negative is this t minus 1 over beta being less than 0. An equivalent formulation to this is that t is less than 1 over beta. Beta is a positive number. 
So this is the requirement for convergence. Okay. And that is where where the moment generating function exists is when t is less than beta. Okay. So if this is negative, the limit will be 0 because it will be a large positive number times by a negative number um, going to infinity, and then that converges to 0. OK, well, now we'll subtract 1 over beta times 1 over t minus, and I apologize, I made a little bit of a mistake. That should be 1 over beta right here. So 1 over beta. And when we simplify this, this will be 1 over, we'll pull the negative down, this will be 1 minus beta t. And that is the moment generating function of an exponential. Okay. Now, next, we need to take the derivative. Okay. So let's do that. So we need to differentiate with respect to the variable t. Another way of writing this is 1 minus beta t to the minus 1 power. So differentiating this will just involve the chain rule. Otherwise, you would use the quotient. Okay, And we'll bring down the minus 1 power for the chain rule. That'll make it a negative 2. We multiply by the derivative of what's inside. That is beta. Okay. Um, and excuse me, I believe it's a negative beta. Yes, it is. And just simplifying this, the negatives cancel. You get beta over 1 minus beta t squared. OK. So we're going to write that down, beta minus 1 over beta t squared. So. And all we need to do is plug in 0. And when we do that, this will be beta divided by 1 minus 0 squared. And that is beta. So we have proved that the parameter beta represents the expected value. We've also proved that the moment generating function of an exponential distribution is 1 over 1 minus beta t. So we've learned two new facts. And thank you very much for joining me.